So today we're going to take a look at the Elite, the Triple Score, and the Vortex in the Test Garden. Been multiple requests for gold, so we have the two small pieces of gold down over here. One down one inch, one down two inches, just a sliver of gold. We have the 10 inch Mercury Dime, and we have a 10 inch um, Buffalo Nickel, no V Nickel, that will be a mid conductor. So high conductor, very low conductors, and a mid conductor behind us. So running very stable here. We have the iron audio on. We're in park two. I know park one helps with depth, but in trashy ground like my test garden, park two is really the way to go. So we have our recovery speed at one for depth, iron filter zero. We could go negative one, but more realistic in trashy ground without nail popping and stuff. We'll stick with FE zero. And we have our sensitivity on 21. So here's the 10 inch Merc. It's a tough target. If you remember, that was planted there during beast mode and to put something out of range for the legend. So that's down there really deep. And then we have our two sliver pieces of gold down one inch here. Gives a two ID. And this is down two inches, the same sliver of gold. And we're gonna look at large iron too. The Vortex does really good on large iron. Let's quickly go over the eight inch Buffalo nickel. And then the 10 inch V nickel. All right, so really deep targets. Vort I mean, the uh, Xterra Elite shines uh, at these deep targets, mid conductors, high conductor, and the, the low conductor. Okay, so now we have the triple score. We're in park multi two. We have a recovery speed of two, an iron filter of one. We don't have any bottle cap implemented and we'll go through the same target. So here's a 10 inch Merc. Kind of a one way hit. Let's drop that recovery speed to one, see if that helps. Now the triple score works better with a recovery speed of two out here where it's trashy. Okay, the one inch gold. No problem, good 11 ID. And the two inch gold, perfect. Okay, the eight inch nickel. And the 10 inch V nickel. No problem. All right, let's get out the Vortex. Okay, so here's the Vortex. We're in multi-frequency zero mode. We have, let's start down here, max sensitivity, iron volumes at one, multi-frequency, recovery speed one, we'll adjust if needed. Three tones, no iron filters implemented. All right, so here's the 10 inch Merc. Now we don't have a two-tone option on this machine. It's either three or five. And I do like two tones. So you get ferrous and then everything non-ferrous is would slam. That's how I have the triple score and elite set up, but we don't have that option here. So there's the 10 inch Merc. Hits it good. Here's the one inch gold. Hits it. Sounds a little choppy, but it hits it. The two inch gold. Just a one way, one way chirp there. Okay, the eight inch nickel. Ooh, slams that. 52 ID, 10 inch nickel. All right, let's see if we can adjust recovery speed to hit this in the two inch piece of gold. Let's try two. 
No, it does not like that 10 inch nickel. The Elite and the Triple Score hit that no problem. Let's try recovery speed two on that two inch piece of gold as well. Same thing, one way, one way hit. Okay, let's look at large iron. So large iron impressed me with this iron boundary and bottle cap reject uh, settings that they have. So here's the large iron sidestep that you've seen before. It's breaking it up a lot even without any filtering. But we'll just add one to the bottle cap which goes all the way up to five. Turns it completely to iron. Well, let's go to the iron boundary. Now both off, both are on zero again. Let's put one on the iron boundary. So both settings, even with bottle cap at zero, both settings are really helping with large iron. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.